Hey, what's up, y'all? If y'all feeling all this great content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you can get notifications. You're not tuned in to something super tight. Puffin' something sticky, nigga, I roll through the light Need to hear something real just to get me through the night I'm looking for them jackets cause I know they lookin' shy. Know I'ma get some game tuned in with super tight, yeah I get the low love from Big Bobo From the front seat, not no photos Already, baby, what it do? It's your big dog, Bobo Luciano I wanna thank you everybody again for tuning in to Super Tight TV We yeah. back, up your back, going smack, smack, smack Just like that <laughs> Yay. Hey, I hope it feel good to you too Cause it sure feel good to me Ew. I got my sexy ass Gorgeous, beautiful wife It's your girl Jazzy K In the building Hey, what's up, baby? What's up? What you repping today? Oh, yeah, I got on that OG stamp OG stamp? Yeah Oh, yeah Y'all can see it, but uh, Got the crown on OG stamp, shout out to oh, J-Juice J-Juice, yeah, that's yeah, official, man And mm -hmm. hey, check this out, y'all oh. the, the goon with the spoon Wait, wait it's a taste of ways. Taste of ways. I'm talking about. I go, like it. <laughs> y'all go check. Y'all go check out my guy, man, over there in Duncanville, man. Once again, shout out to C Ray. C Ray on that artwork. This is actually a, a C Ray painting. Yeah. And that's in the shop. And he actually made it into a. Sh uh, uh, I say a shop in mm -hmm. the restaurant. Should I say he actually made it into a shirt? Yeah. And it's quite nice. That's a lot. But today, ooh, I got a family member that have made a trip. Okay. I'm talking about I like them when they make trips. Yeah. We treat them extra special. Okay. I'm talking about the red carpet all in the parking lot. <laughs> but say, got a young lady, you know what I'm saying? I, I take referrals and somebody say, hey, man, you need to pay attention to this young lady. She bubbling out of, I'm not even going to say we're going to let her tell yeah, people. Which, but let's just say she's from the great state of Texas. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Representing yeah. the great state of Texas. You know what I'm talking about? And um, YT Amaya is in the building. Yay. How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? Hey, you good? Hey, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. My sign man on that, you know, that BS today. It's I okay. don't know what's up with y'all. It's okay. Kenny been tripping. Hey, uh, I believe in good vibes. You know what I'm saying? Everybody yeah. talk about vibing and mm -hmm. all that type of stuff it's and energy. Vibe. Positive. Yeah. What you say, baby? I said it's a vibe. It's a vibe. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So, with your career, I want you to win and be successful, right? Right. Thank you. So, uh, that blue star right there. First of all, you, you see you at a Texas table, right? Yeah. This is, a, and you know that's North Texas. I know you're not from Dallas, but that represents positive energy. Yeah. So if you'll please rub the blue star for positive energy for your yeah. career. And leave us some for our platform. Positive energy in the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We got some legends go. rub this stuff. Throw it up then. Okay. Throw it up the yeah. bus. <laughs> okay. But um, I love my women. You know what I'm saying? But I love my wife. I'm in love with my wife. Is that better, baby? Yeah, that's my okay. I have to say. I love women. You know what I'm saying? Because they're the mother of the earth. Mm -hmm. Don't tell them the part. mother of us all. Yeah. So I always believe, ladies, I hold y'all up on the high pillow. Pedestal is that a good word? You know what I'm talking about? But I, <laughs> <laughs> I like to let my wife get this thing started. Hey, so Miss Watia Maya, first off, why don't you tell everybody where you're from? I'm from Waco, Texas. Waco, Waco? shoot them up, Waco. <laughs> what side? What side? West side. West? No, I didn't say oh, west side. Oh. Like what side I'm from? Yeah, I was born in the south. In the south side of Waco. But I'm like I like grew up kind of in the north. Okay. Oh, really? Okay, okay. What high school did you go to? Uh, I went to university and then Waco High before COVID started. Okay. Oh. So, uh, you fresh out of high school? Um. Well, I'm. Uh, I'm like in school. I'm doing school. Oh, okay. really? Yeah, you graduated. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, not yet. That's okay. That's it's okay. okay though. Everybody yeah. doing their thing. Yeah. Everybody. Okay. Hey, as long as you do it, you know what I'm talking about. As long as you. Pursue your dreams and your passions. Well, you, you, how old are you? I'm 18. 18? Oh, She's 18. Yeah. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, we got a daughter your age. Mm -hmm. What's her name? Joy. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Joy's 18. Oh, we have four girls. Yes. Four? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What's their ages? Uh, what, 22, 18, 17, and, and eight. eight. Oh, my mama got five. 
Ooh. Five girls? Five girls. Oh, Ooh, bless she your us. mother. Bless her. <laughs> Mama's a real champ. She yeah, the real MVP. Real MVP. Bless her. <laughs> I would have stopped at three. What? Wait a minute. So where do you fall? Are you the I oldest? am the second to youngest. Okay. You yeah. one of the babies. Yeah. That's so cool. How was it growing up with four sisters? Um, it was, I wish I had a brother. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Girls is a lot. Man. It was good until my little sister came. Then she took like, your spot, she, huh? Yeah, she did. She took she took the shine. I, I thought it. I was the last one. Then mama popped out with another one. See, I feel you mm-hmm. because I was by myself and then my twin sisters came. What was the age yeah. difference between you and the youngest? Uh like five years. Oh yeah, you was really hating. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, she was really, really hating. Yeah, you, you was old, old enough to hate. <laughs> mama, what you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Who is that? Yeah. Who is that part? <laughs> I don't really like sharing she my take, mama with you. She's taking my attention. Right. Yeah. So, uh, was was dad involved? Was he around? No. Do you know your pops? I do, actually. I met him about mm, two years ago. No, a year ago. Actually, I'm going too far. Like a year ago. Mm-hmm. You met your pops a year ago. Yeah. How how did that go? Um, it was it was cool. It was, and uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's all. It was it was nice. I Strange guess. feeling. It was nice. Yeah, it was no. weird at first. Yeah, y'all still got a relationship to this day. Y'all working on it or y'all? Um, you don't know. Not really. I mean, we talk here and there, but it's not like yeah. everyday consistent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's kind of hard. Is that something you would like? It. Yes, yeah. it is actually. Mm-hmm. I've been like talking to him, trying to talk to him more. Trying to get a relationship involved somewhere yeah. in there. That's good. So was it was it tough? Was it a man figure in the house, or was it just all women? Um, it was all women for a minute until obviously my mom met my little sister's dad. And okay, like, that's who kind of that's who raised us. Oh, okay, her side, my little sister's side. Okay, that's what's up. so you were five. Yeah, so you had are they mom, your stepdad still together now? No. Okay, but but you had a good experience upbringing, upbringing with two parents. Mm-hmm. Sure, said, <laughs> you said you said sure. Well, you can tell the truth. You be like, uh, okay. I mean, no, so so. We're not gonna put right. nobody on blast. You know what I'm talking about? Right. <laughs> yeah, it was all right. It was all right. Leave it at that. So, so, at what point did you get into music? Um, like I got serious within 2019. I always knew I could sing. It wasn't really like. It's something I've always loved to do, but it wasn't anything like when I was younger that I was looking forward to doing. Mm-hmm. Yes. I was more on like photography side, mm-hmm. which I'm still interested in it. But I think once my sister hit high school and she got into show choir and like she started doing all the mm-hmm. concerts and stuff on stage, I think that's when I really started to get into it. I was like, OK, oh, that seems fun. Already. Did you, were you in the choir or anything when you were in, um, school, in school? In middle school, I was. I stopped. And well, actually, I was I was in choir for like a year in middle school, but I didn't like it, okay. so I just stopped. So tell it, do me a favor. Through your eyes and your experiences, I always say this this term: draw a picture. You know, for our family members and people who might not know what Waco is about. Tell us about Waco and how you grew up. Tell us about Waco and how I grew up. Okay. Oh, well. Not how you grew up, but what you saw yeah. and what you experienced and things like that. Um, Waco used to be, actually, it was actually, like, chill. It used to be really chill. Right now, it's a lot of stuff going on in Waco. I don't know what they got going. Mm. But it used to be, like, really chill. Like, not a lot of stuff used to happen. Waco was really, like, a ducked off spot you would go mm-hmm. to. Like, yeah. If you were, like, in a big city or, like, not even from Texas, if you want to go somewhere and duck off, Waco would be a good spot to go to. I really. Now Waco's just hot. Mm. Wow. It's just hot. We, what's going on? It's not just Waco. Same thing that's it's going everywhere. on everywhere. It's yeah. everywhere. Same thing that's going on everywhere. Yeah, uh-huh. it's not just Waco. I hear that. We heard that from TK Barbie. Mm-hmm. We hear that from, I mean, yeah. everybody yeah, come up here from somewhere else. It's, it's hot in their city. Yeah. You know it's, what I'm talking about? A lot crazy. of shootings and senseless kids. What, what do you think about that? You're a youngster. You know, we're from a different area. Era. Um, uh, um, it's weird. I don't like it. I, I really feel like peace. Everybody just needs to have peace. Yes. Right. I don't yeah. know why. I feel like if you're going to... If you're gonna fight some, if you're gonna fight about some like beef or whatever, yes. you should fight it out. 
It fight, ain't no point in like, like walk away. Yeah, See, fight and then walk the away, fight, shake each other's hands. It happens. Walk away. People don't. People be well, you scared know, you, to fight now because it's know, gonna get recorded. It's gonna get recorded and played over and over and over. You gonna go yeah. viral? Everybody gonna see right. you. Mm, that's that. That embarrassment will make you kill somebody. Or come back. Yeah, we'll make yeah. you come back. That's the thing about it. you can't whoop nobody nowadays because they gonna come back. They yeah, that's mm-mm. and they Need usually like, and they usually one on one fight, no phones. Mm. That's okay. why I stay out there. You didn't make the fight, you don't get to see what happened. That's an organized fight. Right. Here we go. <laughs> That's how you right. used to be. Planned. Three o'clock. Yeah, me, me and you. Yeah, me, me, okay. and, me, me in the valley. That part. We gonna not. <laughs> I'm talking about. <laughs> what well, no phone? What well, no phone? No, no. I mean, we ain't gonna tell nobody either. You right. get whooped, you better not say shit. <laughs> you know <what> <laughs> no, you better not run off and go tell the principal or nothing. Up with phones and cameras. <laughs> so, uh, do you write your own music? <laughs> yes, I do. I do write my own music. So you say you took start taking it serious around 2019. Yeah. That's when I met C. Walker. C. Walker, okay. Yeah. And, and, and tell us about that experience. How'd you, how'd you meet him? Um, oh, this story. I say this story all the time, and I somehow forget it in ways. Um, So, basically, my mom, I think she was on Facebook, and some a friend or somebody, I think, sent her one of C. Walker's songs. And she looked at it, and she thought it was cool, and she seen the video, and she texted him to tell him, like, I like the music. It was dope. And then, like, he replied. And then, I don't know how. I guess she mentioned that I sing. And he was like, oh, that's cool. And he mentioned at the time that he was looking for, like, a female artist. So, yeah, I guess time just fit in perfectly. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah right so time, right place. She sent him some videos. He was like, oh, yeah, can I meet her? So, we met him thought it was weird at first because i was like i don't know him like i've never heard of him oh yeah but i was like it's an opportunity so might as well take it oh yeah oh yeah and then that relationship grew from there what, what, what year was that 2019 that was 2019 yeah. okay so that's what four years ago three four years ago yeah so y'all got a pretty good bond now right oh yeah that's, that's your guy that's i see him as like a father figure yeah oh yeah that's dope that's dope everybody needs somebody Right. You can't make it on your own. Uh-uh. Well, you can try. Yeah, you, you can, can try. but it's but it's extra hard. <laughs> I don't know. Nobody don't made like it on their own. I'm just saying, a lot of people. It's it's people out there that don't have great support systems. But they got somebody. <laughs> but they got somebody. They got somebody. They mama. Somebody is behind them. You know, helping mm-hmm. them and supporting them. Uh, mm-hmm. doing the graphics, doing the beats, doing some. You know, how many songs have you written? Ooh. A lot. Song a songwriters lot. are important. I wrote yeah. a lot of songs. You ever think about writing for someone else? Yeah, actually. Yeah. A lot of money in that. It's a bag in that. <laughs> Trust me, ain't it? As they would say. Am I lying? You on that train right now? <laughs> it's okay. a bag for that because a lot of people have talent, but they just don't know how to put the words together. Mm-hmm. Right. And if you put the words together and just let people sing, hey, check. Not for real. Check you ain't even gotta do much. All uh-uh. you gotta do is do what you do. Okay. What if you write a, a, a platinum hit? Your whole life will change. Right. Your whole family's life will change. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that would be crazy. What if you write a crazy. Grammy nominated song or a Grammy award winning mm-hmm. song? That part. Or even something then. that gets picked for a soundtrack, like you know, you never know. Right. You know what I'm saying? Gets picked for a soundtrack for a movie or something like that. That'd be dope. You know that would be though. Well, she's be, totally be capable fine. because the song "Scheming." Did you write that one? I did. Okay, I like that one. Tell us about "Scheming." It's like he was you. going through something on that one. Um, it was personal. Sound it, right. it was. It was personal, but then I was also like grabbing just from everything else that's been going on mm-hmm. in Waco. Not even just in Waco, but in the world in general. Yes. Like so, it's more on like personal, and then just like trying to get a message out there to everybody, like. Mm-hmm. It's not good. This ain't Basically, what that is. Yeah, it's not. That's just right. feel it. Just feel. Hear the song and feel the song, and you'll understand. You were mentioning like a, um, I don't know if you were talking to somebody in the, like that first verse. Is your brother or somebody like that that you were talking about? Oh, uh, I. He wasn't like my blood brother, but like we were like close. Close. We were really close. Did he pass? Uh yeah he did. Mm. It happened in actually it happened in 2019. 2019. Yeah. How 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 old was he? He was 17. Mm, he was a 17. baby. He was a baby. What was his name? 
Aquarius. Aquarius? Yeah. His name was Aquarius. Yeah. That's cool. That's a dope name. I ain't never heard no dude named Aquarius. Mm-hmm. That's a dope name. So, um, y'all were really, that y'all was like brothers and sisters? Yeah, we were really close. Mm. You, you want to talk about what happened to him? Or is this too personal? Uh, um, I'm good. We you can, good? Yeah. Okay, I'm we good. can move right on. You know, I'm not pushy at all. So, I see in um the press kit they sent us over, you said that music was your savior. Definitely. How was that? Um, <clears throat> so... I was actually going through some stuff, like just me mm-hmm. mentally. Like, I, I think I met Sea Walker. It was like right at the beginning of when we first started meeting. Mm-hmm. I was like going through a lot of stuff. So, like, I went away for a little bit. And, like, during that time where I went away to, like, during that time, I think music just helped me crucially. Just mm-hmm. like listening to it, writing it, definitely writing it. I think that's where I started getting my writing from Mm -hmm. but yeah i feel like it just saved me like i can i can get lost in music because writing can be like a form of journaling like yeah you write a song oh yeah therapy yeah Yeah. Yeah. and it's like getting your feelings out i say that all the time like people laugh at journaling but especially if you mad write it down first (laughs) yeah definitely (laughs) write it down first and go back and read you say you went away where you go um where was it? Oh, I forgot where it was. I don't know how I forgot. I shouldn't forget. It was like a big thing. Um, I don't remember. You got locked up? No, I, I mean, I didn't get locked up, but like, I went away. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. You, I want to know. <laughs> you got a story to tell. You know what okay. I mean? I just want to make sure, you know, if you don't want to tell it, Tell it when you're ready. You want if you don't want to tell it now. Right. Put it in song form. What I'm talking about? That's Sing right. it to the world. I like it like that. So what what you got up next? What I got up next? Oh, I got a lot of stuff coming up next. Singles, definitely singles. I got a single with Charlie Boy coming out. Whoa. Ooh. Charlie Boy, yeah. Okay. That's big. Yeah. Shout out my buddy, my brother, Charlie Boy. Uh, I got another feature with Waco Tron coming out. Ooh, that's big too. Yeah, yeah. I, Shout I, out like, Waco it. Tron. I like it. I like it. And then I got another another single to drop in. It's called Trojan. Okay. What that yeah, about? Like it Trojan. Yeah. Oh, it's it's a good song. It was actually like I was going through it. It was one of those times where I was going through it, but like it was like a I was going I wrote it while I was going through it and then after, like mm-hmm. after I went through everything and like I kind of mixed some of that in. Yeah. It's gotcha. a good song. Got gotcha. you. So y'all got another artist out of Waco, uh, uh, West, Hot Boy West. Hot Boy West. Yeah. Have you ever met Hot Boy West? Um, I think I might have seen him, but like not like walked up to him personally and okay. like shook hands. No, I haven't. Yeah, you should. Y'all should collab. Yeah, just yeah. you collabing with other Waco artists. I mean, Waco Waco Tron is. Phew. Yeah. He's dope. He is. He is. He is. Tell he us some is of the crazy. people that you have worked with. Um I have worked with yeah. a lot of people. I have mm-hmm. worked with uh he where does he stay? He stays somewhere in Austin. I forgot where he stays though. Uh Young Tony, that's his name. Okay. I got a song with him. I got a song with um his music name is Big J. Mm-hmm. Uh we got plenty of songs together. Actually, he's like he Y'all vibe. Yeah, that's like I think I got more songs with him than anybody that mm. I know of. Uh, I got a song with a guy, Jared Dean, mm-hmm. uh, really Pharaoh the God. I'm really? trying to think. It's a lot now that I think of it. A guy named Three Low. Uh, Are there any of these songs have they been released? Uh, yes. I think all the ones I have with Big J have. Okay. The one with Young Tony I have, that's released. Uh, the one with is Jared Jared Dean. What was mm-hmm. I saying? I, <laughs> I think that's released. I want to say that one's released too. Do they normally get you like to sing hooks and things like that for them, or y'all just get in and collab on the whole entire song? Uh, sometimes it just depends on what they want. Like sometimes it'll only be a hook. Sometimes it'll mm-hmm. be a verse. Mm-hmm. And yes. yeah, yeah, I like the fact that y'all getting in and vibing because a lot of people I not mean, doing it. Yeah, well. You're going to experience this, too. I mean, somebody from New York might want to get you on a record and 
and they need it tomorrow, mm-hmm. what y'all going to do? Y'all going to send it through the air, right? You know, yeah. through emails and stuff. So it's going to be some times you're going to collab with people that you're probably not going to meet right. until the video shoot or something right. like that. So, uh, What about shows? You got any shows? Shows, yes. Up? I have a show coming up. Friday, actually. Friday. Where about? Where? It's in Temple. Oh, Temple, Texas. I read yeah. it. Uh, Temple, I think Texas. it's for Single the Mile. I think. Ooh, that yeah. is Friday. That's gonna be, That's gonna be a hell of a. Yeah. <laughs> so where it? Yeah. Where is it gonna be at? It's in Temple. I'm not sure the, the exact place. I'm well, not come sure on, about the venue. What's the venue? Oh, yeah. um, it's my boy Gutter. It's his studio. It's called okay. Flyboy Cuts. Uh, Flyboy Cuts. Flyboy Cuts. Flyboy Cuts. Flyboy Cuts. He's having his uh, like a meet and greet or a mixer. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Already, y'all, y'all go check that Temple out, man. Yeah. Friday, Flyboy Club right. in Temple, Texas, Cinco de Mayo. Damn. So, <laughs> I hear you mention YT. Yeah. Explain that. Uh, YT. It means yours truly. Okay. Oh. Um, inspiration from Bora. Uh, it's like. He would put it at like the end of his videos, so like I thought that was really mm-hmm. cool. No, who, no, who, it was the inspiration from who? Fora, P P H O R A. Okay, I read yeah. it. Fora, that's his name. That's neat. Yeah, a lot of people think it's like I don't know what a lot of people think. I've only had about three people think yours truly. Oh wow! Everybody else thinks it's something. I else. did not. What they what, what they think it is? Give me give me the stupidest thing that you've heard. The stupidest. The dumbest. Uh, YouTube. Okay. Oh, Definitely no. YouTube. YouTube or mine? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't have thought that. That's pretty. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty left. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's dumb. <laughs> I would have thought white, like whitey. Yeah. Yeah. I, I get white. that too. Oh yeah. <laughs> but I said, why would she call herself whitey? <laughs> whitey. So look, are you Hispanic? I'm mixed. What are you mixed with? Uh, Mexican, Korean, and. Why? Why did I forget that? <laughs> I don't know why I forgot that. Hey, hey that camera call. That hey, camera on. <laughs> so how many people in the uh is it more than one person in YT? Or is it is that just your name? Oh well that's my name. That's name. Recently I just started saying like YT gang. Well I heard like, her say yeah. that. Right. Yeah. Got you. I just wanna know if it was a click. And hey, I'm, it will be. Okay, yeah. I- Hey. <laughs> Anybody I pop out, I pop out with the same people all the time. I oh, really, that's yeah. That's that's the little YT gang. Yeah, that's a- any of them, any of them in your gang got talent. Yes, definitely. I oh, really rappers. Oh, okay. okay. And C Walker, C Walker YT gang too. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I really uh, official members, huh? Official members. I heard that. So what's the next? Are you working on a project? I heard you say you. You're you're working on singles and releasing singles. Are you working on like putting an EP out, maybe or an album, or you just want to concentrate on singles? Yeah, I'm more focused on singles for right right now. Mm -hmm, You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? For right now, until I get more eyes and everything. Emotion. After that, yeah, it'll be. I'll probably think about an album probably next. Okay. But probably another EP. What's the next video and single you want to make? Next video, it's either going to be Fall. Which is one of my songs, or <coughs> possibly the video with Waco Tron. Ooh. Possibly, I think it's a possible. That'd be a good look. Yeah, it would. It would. It wouldn't be so cross bad. marketing. You know what I'm saying? You get his fans, he gets your fans. Right. You know right. Right. Well, tell everybody your social so they can find you. Uh, YT Amaya on any and everything. YT Amaya. Follow me. Listen. Go. Check out Spotify, any music platforms, Y T M I A, Y T A M A Y A. Oh, really? I'll go check so, as far as artists that's out now, not locally, mm-hmm. you know, I'm talking about your little babies, your. It's everybody. You know, everybody. I don't care who it is. It could be somebody, I ain't going to say dead. Who do you aspire to work with? Mm-hmm. We got to have question. somebody. Beyonce, Rihanna. Um, call the rate. Um, ooh, mm. I don't know. Since the last time I've been on an interview and got asked that, I feel like my answers have switched. Well, switch That's it. Fine. Give me the know. new answer. Hey, as long as you gave that, hey, my answer don't switch from the last one. <laughs> you know I'm about? I mean, so nobody try to get in the comments. People be grow. like, I mean, you said they, you said them last time. Don't worry about that. I mean, people change. Yeah, you can, feeling it's your opinion. 
Today so, I feel this way, tomorrow I feel some other way. Right. So, so who are you feeling today? Who I'm feeling today? That's hard. Hey. Okay, when you in your zone and you pop in music to just chill out, who do you listen to? Besides yourself. Besides YT to. or Mike. I listen to uh, Russ, uh, mm. Nico. Yeah. Okay. I listen to her. She's hard. Yeah. She I is like hard. Her. Yeah. She's real sexual, but she's hard. <laughs> she is. Wouldn't you say? Um, no. Girl, stop. <laughs> girl, stop. <laughs> you know that girl be talking that freaky shit <laughs> um, all the time. No. Who you say? J- Janae Aiko? No, not Janae. Oh, okay. Girl, I thought I'm talking about Janae Aiko. Oh, okay. Who did you say? That's not how you Aniko. say her name. Aniko. Yeah. <laughs> you know who that is, baby? I don't. Okay. Well, who is that? Make us know. Enlighten us. Uh, look up her song, The Kings of Fermination. Okay. King. Affirmation. Affirmation. Okay. Affirmation. Okay. Mm. Is she uh, a, a big time star? Uh... I mean, a lot of people, well, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will know her songs, but not like her name. Got you. Okay. Gotcha. They know the music. Yeah. I read it. I feel you. Love it. So who do you, I mean, any inspirations from somebody had to, you know, I, I had a lot of people who I looked up to as artists, you know, I said, well, you know what? They made me want to do it. Anybody mm-hmm. besides your sister? Anybody besides my sister? Like when you was a little girl, you watched watch videos? Little, um... Well, I always, yeah, actually, I would, I would always sit in the front of the TV and sing like Whitney Houston and Beyonce okay. and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah that okay. that I would say them definitely. Okay. Oh yeah, strong voices. Like a, yeah, I read it. I read it. Whitney the goat. Whitney is the goat. I mean, there's some people out there that can sing. Well, she could sing, sing. Right, she could sing. Yeah, she's oh, a yeah. singer. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had to uh, do any of those performances like? Something, um, how can I say it, formal to where like uh, at a program or national anthem at a game at church, anything like that? I have. I've uh, I sang at church before when I was younger. Soloist? Yes, it was a solo. Oh, wow. Okay. It was it was for Christmas. I think it was uh, Mary Did You Know. Ooh, that's oh, a good one. Ooh. I love it. It is a good one. Man, it's a, one of my go-to karaoke songs. Oh, man. Christmas song. That's a strong song. It is. It is. That's a strong song right there. That'll bring a cheer out of some people. <laughs> it right will. There. It will. Yeah. The Christmas shoes. Did you bring down the house? Did I bring down that? I did. I did. <laughs> no, right. I don't. I don't think they expected any of that coming out of me. Oh, really? A little I'm person with a big voice. Yeah. Yeah. You, you do have a great voice. My, yeah, you thank you. My daughter. You know, we we talked about the eight year old, mm-hmm. and I was playing the uh, scheme in earlier at home, and she she thought it was like something. You know, she likes a lot of YouTube stuff, so she thought it was something off of YouTube, yes. one of her, one of her channels. Oh yeah. <laughs> I said, now nah, this young lady, we we interviewing her tonight. Really? <laughs> oh, you know, nice. you know, so you might have a fan. Oh yeah! Mm-hmm. Oh, shout out to Joy. No, no, that's so, Elise. this was Elise. This was Elise, Elise. the mm-hmm. eight year old. The eight year old. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. She's she's our biggest fan. Oh okay, oh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, she's always baby girl. Oh yeah, who y'all interview on the day? How many interviews y'all got? Yeah, yeah. How many subscribers <laughs> y'all got? Tell them I said hey. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, you heard that Hello, Elise? Elise. <laughs> <laughs> she loved to hear her name on the show. <laughs> Hello, Elise. Oh, really? <laughs> you got some shout outs? Shout out to C. Walker. Mm. Freaking C. Walker. Always cooking it up. Shout out to the team. For y'all to see entertainment. Kilo, LaCrea. Shout out to Texas Digital. Shout out to my mama, even though she couldn't make it. Aww. Shout out to Baby. Uh, she was going to come with you? She was. She was going to, but been dope. she didn't have anybody to pick up my little sister from school. Oh, yeah. Damn, that'd have been dope. What's hey. up, mom? Hey mom, next really. time. Next time, bring her with you. Bring some food. Yes, <laughs> we some always tea. eating. <laughs> she can cook, can't she? Yes. What's she, her specialty? What's her specialty? Mm, mama got a lot. She used to cook a lot. What's your favorite thing that Mama cook? Mm, taco soup. Yeah. Oh, my wife ain't that. I good. love it. I love Ooh. it. I love it. So good. It is. Especially nice. when it's cold outside. Nice and yeah. savory. That's that comfy food. Mm-hmm. It is. I'm talking it about is. Yeah. Mm-mm. Man, so <laughs> I got a, a, a rising star. Really, a star that's already shining that in the building. I mean, once my partner sent me this, uh, you know, your scheme and song, I was like, damn, what was, 
That's what I'm saying. Like no little kid. <laughs> because that's how he that, that's how he described it. You know, he said, Man, I got this little kid out of Waco mm-hmm. and you know to us, I mean I'm fifty five years old, you're a kid. You know what I'm talking about? So mm-hmm. he said, I got this little kid out of Waco, you know, one of my partners is trying to push. Send me that song out. I said, oh, I'm such a little lady, <laughs> such a big voice. Yes. Man, I sure appreciate you coming through, though. Yeah, absolutely. I, I appreciate y'all we for appreciate having me. You. Yeah. Appreciate y'all for having me. Anytime, anytime you have anything going, you want to promote anything, you want to come in and just pop your shit. Come right. On come on back. Come on of back. Course, you know what I'm saying? Have your people call. You, you can uh, exchange numbers with the wifey. And, come on down. Yeah, just the come on down. I'll be happy to. you part of the family now. You know what I'm saying? Super gang, gang, super tight gang, YT super tight gang. You know what I'm talking about, gang, gang. YT super tight gang. Hey, watch, yeah. it. But we, hey, we taking all phase, baby. Hey, <laughs> I got, the, I got my little sister in the house. YT Amaya, a real super, super tight guest. No, I'm gonna get some game tuned in with super tight. Yeah, I get the low love from Big Bobo from the front seat, not no photos. 